I'm really glad I'm getting around to finally reading this book. Oh, hello. Hey, welcome to Tyler with the K. Of course my camera doesn't focus. Not being very nice. Not being very nice. It's rude, actually. It's not even not nice. It's rude. 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 Hello. Hey. Welcome to Tyler with the K. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kyler, and I love books, and I love talking about books, and in this video, we will be starting a book which I have wanted to read for a very, 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 very long time. Maybe not that many varies, but it has been a while since this has been on my radar. I actually bought this book, I'm pretty sure, when we were in quarantine for the COVID pandemic, so like in 2020, and I still have not gotten around to it, and I decided this year was going to be the year that I was finally going to get to it. And that book is Yoke by Mary H.K. Choi. How did I hear about this book, you asked? There's a booktuber, a fellow booktuber, called The Story Ain't Over, and she really likes this book. I believe it was on her favorite list of, like, maybe 2021 or 2022. Um, that's really why I'm reading it. I know it is about a pair of sisters um, who have become like somewhat estranged and like after some time they get back together because I believe one of the sisters um, is suffering from something like a health, um, um, yes, um, one of the sisters named June gets cancer and then um, they I guess find themselves in each other's lives again. Um, so yeah, this will just be a video where I talk about this book. I feel like I haven't filmed one of these videos in a very long time. The last video that I filmed where I only discussed one book, I believe, was, um, actually, I don't know. Let me check. Bro, that is a long time. The last one I posted was October 18th of 2022. It has literally been three months. Actually, exactly three months, because I'm filming this on January 18th. That's really bad. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'm back. So, um, after 10 chapters, I'll be back. This is just like an intro clip I wanted to film for it. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. I'm not gonna delay it any longer. I am going to start reading this book, and I'll be back here once I finish the first 10 chapters, however long that may be. This timing of me starting this video is not very ideal, because I actually start midterms. Tomorrow, I need to study, so I'm probably not going to start, I'm not, I'm, I'm probably not going to read a lot of this book during midterms, but I'll finish it eventually, at least I hope, and I'll see you, let's not get ahead of ourselves, I'll see you after I finish the first 10 chapters. Sounds like a plan? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, okay, so as you probably notice, it is a little later in the day, um, I've read four chapters of Yolk so far. There aren't like that long chapters, which I appreciate, but um, I'm not talking about the book right now. I just wanted to say something that I think I'm going to start doing whenever I start a new book. Um, basically, for maybe like the past year, maybe a little longer, I've been collecting things that I use as bookmarks and keeping them in a pouch that I got with my, I think, um, tenor ukulele. So this is a very... This is a pouch. I feel like I only have one actual bookmark. I have this one from Barnes and Noble, but outside of that, every single piece of paper here is not like legally a bookmark. It just things. It's just a thing that I use as a bookmark. Um, so I'll be picking one out when I start every single when I start a new book. Um, I just pick random today. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. So this bookmark that I'm going to be using for Yoke is the Portuguese map from Disney World. No, Disney Magic Kingdom that I got when I went to Disney. Um, this past summer, and then um, once I finish a book, I'll just put the bookmark, the makeshift bookmark, back into the pouch, and also write down the name of the book that I read with it. Um, and I'll just like pick one out randomly every single time I start a new book. 
Um, so yeah, as I said earlier, I finished the first four chapters. It's pretty interesting so far. I'll probably be able to finish the first ten um, tomorrow, by tomorrow sometime. There are 48 chapters, I'm pretty sure, and I think around like 370 pages. So I think I can finish this like in a week or something. Considering I'm already... Like, if I tried, I could probably finish chapter 10 today, but I'm not sure if that's the best idea since I have midterms. Um, so yeah. I think it, this book won't take me that long. But it is like, um, I've been reading a book called Seeds and Storm by Lee Bardugo, and comparatively, there are like more words on a page in a yoke than Seeds and Storm, so it's a bit of an adjustment, but like, the text isn't necessarily like more complex than Seeds and Storm, so like, I, it makes sense so far. I don't want to get too much into the book, so, yeah. Okay. Great. I will see you probably sometime tomorrow. Hey. Okay, so, I'm back. It's been six days. Um, definitely longer than I expected, but yeah, I just finished chapter 10. I wanted to make a video. It is not that late, but it's like after, like, 10.30, maybe it's, I don't know, the exact time. It's, what? It's 10.48 right now, um, I just, I'm not gonna make this too long, um, I know I usually just, like, sit down on the chair, but I thought I'd mix it up, first of all, because, like, I'm kinda, um, getting ready to go to bed, and I just don't want to sit in a hard chair right now, yeah, I just wanna, I just feel more comfortable sitting in my bed right now, um, a video, the last video that I remember filming, sitting in my bed, um, was one video that hasn't been released yet, which is my review of Sadie by Courtney Summers, which was one of my favorite books um, in my sophomore year of high school. I'm a junior now. Um, and before that, a video that is actually on YouTube right now, which is um, The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I think it's Victoria Schwab. Um, and that video is out. And I filmed a clip where I sat on my bed literally at like... 3 a.m. after I had a nightmare. Too much information. Okay. But you should definitely go watch that video. In fact, I implore you to go watch that video here. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the last clip of this video, but I know I mentioned it somewhere on my channel sometime that I want to like potentially start experimenting with writing scripts for each video. I'm not going to do it in this video, but I did like write some notes down before I started the video, and I think that's just better in general. Um, so, yeah, as aforementioned, I'm making a video um, after I read every 10 chat each. After I read... I'm making a video every every 10 chapters I read. Um, I'm on page 67. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna talk about it. So I feel like the first thing I want to mention is that, like, the form, not the format of this book, but, like, the way that this book goes, like, I guess plot-wise, chapter by chapter, is a bit more, like, slice of life than I expected. Um, I don't even know what that term means, but I'm pretty sure this is, like, a YA contemporary novel, and I feel like I haven't really been exposed to a lot of those in general. Um, but, like, I don't even know what the, that genre entails, really, so I, that may be good to research. Maybe I'll put, like, the definition to the side of me now, but, um, what I mean by, like, Slice of Life, I just feel like she's going, it's not, like, day by day, but, like, it just, like, she's going to all these different, different, like, it's, like, event after events, just, like, in her regular day, in her normal day, in her normal life, um, of course, like, a new th a new development in her life is that she like reconnected with her sister um because her sister has cancer so like yeah they started i guess trying to like reform the relationship somehow or some for some reason um i guess they've been kind of estranged at least that they haven't talked in a while i don't know if there's like a specific event that made that happen or it's just like um like years years apart as in like not living in the same house or whatever um so yeah i kind of hope that it's not like a, a big event or anything like that because i read a some i read a book um 
I think like during the long weekend sometime in sophomore year as well, um, called like, I'll Give You the Sun by Jenny Nelson, and I did not like that book, um, and like a specific part of that book is that it has like dual timelines, and one timeline happens like in present day, and another one happens in like the past, and then present day, the two main characters, Jude and Noah, aren't talking. They're twins, and they aren't talk and they aren't talking because of like a specific event, like a big dramatic event, which like I didn't even find that dramatic. So I hope that's not the same here. I don't think it is because they like haven't even made any reference. Like, like we aren't talking because we haven't talked since like what happened. <laughs> okay, I'm droning though. Let me get back on track. The first scene, as in the first chapter, kind of. Like, isn't, I guess, like, nothing big happens that, like, sets the story on course, I guess, in the first chapter. I think it just starts with, um, like, a dinner between the main character and her roommate and his, like, I don't know, girlfriend, friend, um, and, like, it's in the second chapter that... She, like, reunites and sees her sister for the first time, so, like, I'm just wondering in general, like, how authors even choose their first scene. I feel like that's definitely set, maybe it doesn't have to necessarily set the tone, but it at least has to, like, hook your readers enough to keep reading. So, like, I'm wondering how Mary H.K. Choi, but also just in general, anybody thinks of their first chapter. Because, like, this first chapter, I feel like, is an interesting choice because it doesn't necessarily, like, make me want to read on. Honestly, that's kind of, like, my theme of the whole book so far. Like, after I finish a chapter, I don't necessarily want to, like... It doesn't make me want to read on. Nothing, like, eventful happens at, at the end of each chapter. But, like, I feel like constitutes an end of a chapter. But, obviously, like, it's not even up to me. <clears throat> like, Mary H.K. Choi decided to make these chapters. I'm sure there's some reason these chapters aren't that long in general which i do appreciate i think something i've been realizing is that like when chapters are short it makes me feel like the the book is like more for little kids i feel like long or like more more mature books as in like books like higher grade level than like middle school or whatever have tend to have long chapters um so yeah it's kind of like a hard situation but there is a book Aristotle and Dante Discovery Secrets of the Universe that doesn't have like that long chapters and I feel like that's a YA but um yeah this book doesn't have that long chapters some of them are a little long like chapter 10 was um 11 pages I guess another problem not a problem but like what makes me feel like it's longer is because compared to other books I've been reading like Season of Storm by Lee Bardugo um it just has more words on a page as well so I'm physically reading more, even if the chapters are like the same length page-wise. I feel like this is very descriptive. I think it helps with me imagining the scenes. I do, I want to commend the author for doing that. I do like how descriptive it is. I can feel myself in the situations that the characters are in, more or less. Like I can just imagine things happening I think it also helps even if it like even outside of setting that like I have an older sibling um her name is Kana and we actually recently made a video discussing the Grassy Next Generation which you definitely watch right here um yeah so I feel like having a sibling makes me relate to uh, some aspects of this book just like right off the bat because I have a sibling but Okay, I wouldn't say like it's an ensemble, like an ensemble of characters, like an ensemble cast, but there are like quite a few characters. We got June, we got Jane, um, we got Jeremy, we got the girl from the beginning, is her name Rowan? Oh, okay, Ray is her name. Well, I got the R. <laughs> um, she hasn't even shown up after like the first two chapters. Um, there's a person named Ivy that I feel like we just ran randomly introduced. She just, like, showed up. She was mentioned randomly, so that was, I don't know, um, any other characters? Right, the person that, um, June knows that I can't even remember. Or is the main character's name Jane or June? I'm sorry. That's embarrassing. Um, Jane. Sorry. 
Jane, um, the person that Jane used to know in Texas, like, can you remember his name? Does it start with a J as well? Uh, I don't know. The person that she, like, followed on Instagram or something. So, yeah, they're just a lot of people, character name, and, like, none are, like, I remember, I can remember June and Jane. But I feel like those are the <laughs> names that I can remember most, and I guess that makes sense because they're the main characters, but, like, yeah. I feel like when I get to know the characters more, like who they are, like their essence or whatever, their names will come more easy to me, but um, yeah. That's like a little bit of negative stuff, and now we can go to the positive. So far, I think uh, aspects that I'm enjoying and like I'm more excited to learn more about, because I guess, yeah, just their sibling dynamic. Maybe, like, more about their childhood, like, how their relationship was n now, like, in the present day or whatever, compared to, like, back then when, um, like, before they went to college, like, in high school or whatever. I don't know if we're gonna get a lot of that, but I hope so. Um, also, they touched a little bit about, like, their Asian identity, like, how they feel, like, when it comes to, like, just living in New York and, like, just living really there's like a scene where somebody walked up to them and was asking for direction to some place and they realized that she was speaking english um and she was asian as well but like they they assumed that she wasn't speaking english so like i i don't know i feel like as an african-american the way that I interact with other african-americans it's also kind of interesting to me, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, also as a minority, it's just interesting, I feel like. And I'd just like to know more about that and see if I relate, I guess, in the future to like, um, I guess, experiences that they've had. They're living in New York City, which is very different from like where I live. But, yeah, I'm just interested to see that coming into the new year, I do want to focus, at least try a little harder to read more diverse books, meaning written by diverse perspectives as well as, like, starring diverse characters. Um, I think this is definitely a good place to start. This is, I think, the first book that I started in 2023. Um... I started Season Storm in 2022, like, on December 31st, but still 2022, so yeah, but, um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know, th since this video, like, I feel like maybe I once do every 10 chapters, and then, then I'll just make a video whenever I want to discuss something, like, if, uh, I don't... What I'm saying is, like, I don't want every single 10 chapters to be this long of a clip, because I feel like that's boring. That's kind of moving into, like, what's my channel before I started putting videos on YouTube used to look like, which were just, like, boring, in-depth, not really in-depth, but, like, really drilling down and, um, picking at specific parts of the book, like, analyzing quotes, um, and, like, asking questions about the quotes. Like, I'm not doing that in lengthwise. I want my videos to be shorter than they used to be. So, how am I going to accomplish that? Maybe by not making a video every 10 chapters. So, yeah. I'll check in when I want to later. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish this, the next 10 chapters faster. Although, I can't guarantee I'm going to make a video after the next 10 chapters. So, you may not know, but... Um, I am done with midterms now, so now I think I'm gonna, going to the new semester, I'm gonna try to commit to, like, finding a balance between reading and school, like, being able to finish my work early so I'm able to read more frequently, so, yeah. Okay, I will see you when I see you, probably not after the next ten chapters, but eventually... And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good night. Okay, sorry, real quick. Um, 
I feel like I didn't really answer the question that maybe y'all are asking, or maybe I myself am only asking, am I enjoying the book so far? I wouldn't say so, but I wouldn't say that I hate it or I don't like it either. I guess it's just like not what I was expected. I was expecting, like honestly, I feel like it hasn't registered to me that I'm reading the books because I've, I've wanted to read it for like a while, but yeah. It just happened <laughs> and now i'm finally doing it and like it just not what i expected even though i'm not sure what i expected so yeah i'm kind of still getting used to it it's just different i feel like it's different than books i've read in the past in general as well so i really hope i enjoy it um but right now like it isn't looking like a new favorite but yeah okay I admit I did miss a good fade in or focus in. Um, hello, hey, welcome to Tyler with a K. Something also I guess I kind of missed or at least haven't been filming with recently is the ring light. So we have a ring light today as well. But yeah, I don't even know why I did an intro because this is going to be like not the first clip of a video. Um, <clears throat> I finished the next 10 chapters of Yoke. So now I finished up to chapter 20 as in I finished chapter 20. This book is taking me so long. Um, if I remember correctly, I'll check just in case. But I'm pretty sure I've read this book since January 19th and it is literally April 4th right now. Um, I recently made a video where I decided I'm going to stop this book before the end of April. Um at the latest so like if by the end of april i'm still not done with this book i'm just gonna stop reading it um but i actually found myself wanting to read on today once i finished chapter 20 so that's good i guess um i have a video where i <laughs> really contemplated stopping a lot of books so you can watch that video i don't know if it'll be out by this time but uh yeah, January 18th is when I started it, so it's been a very, very long time. Let's see, how many days specifically? How many days since January 18th? It was 76 days ago. No way, 76? No way. I guess it is like the fourth month, and there are like 30, 30 days in a month. That is, whoa, 76 days? I have not read this every single day, so like I'm not really a slow reader. I just haven't been that interested in it. But anyway, um, I'm just talking about it. In this clip i'm not even gonna make this too long um because first of all i don't remember everything that happened in these last 10 chapters and second of all i don't really want to edit it considering i haven't even edited it's been has it been upside down this whole time um i haven't even edited like the first part of this <laughs> for the first 10 chapters and i don't want to add to my editing too much um but basically this book is pretty interesting i think it's kind of gained more plots as in like a continuing plot line. I feel like a problem that I had earlier in the book was that like just a lot of things were happening and there was like a main thing, I guess, to focus on. Um, on in chapter, I guess, 19, it was, or 18, something was kind of revealed. Well, it is spoiler video, so I'll just say um, that's... I still can't... I, <laughs> I keep missing, messing up their names. Um, Jane, okay, so Jane is the perspective that we're in. So June actually stole stole Jane's identity, as in she took her sister's like um, identification card or health insurance or something in order to make get money for her to get um, treatment for cancer. Which like I understand in one vein, but like you can ask as well, and she maybe did not. So. Yeah, so that's an interesting part. It definitely has made the book a little more interesting for me, even though that literally happened in just, like, a few chapters ago. I want to say chapter 18. Um, June has also recently... Sorry, Jane has recently reconnected to, like, an old friend that she saw in high school, that she knew in high school. Um, but, yeah, I hope... I hope this book revs up for me, as in I hope my interest will go up. Like, it, I'm not entirely bored. If I was entirely bored, I probably would have stopped it by now, but, um, but also I feel like I probably wouldn't because I hate stopping books. Um, but yeah, this book is good. I just hope <sighs> I'll have, there'll be a time in my life where I want to read it like every single day because this is, book is literally over, um, 400 pages, I'm pretty sure. It's like, or it's like 401, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, 401. I am on page 142, so I'm um, 
more than a fourth through, which is good, but like, I'm not that much through it, and I hope that it's going to continue to interest me enough so that I can continue reading it and enjoying it and not wanting to stop it. Um, I don't really have that many thoughts about it, <laughs> sorry. I've been, I want to say you've been waiting so long, but like obviously when I'm editing this video, no time is going to be passed between my first 10 chapter reaction and the like next 10 chapter reaction, but for me it has been a long time. Um, but yeah, I just want to hop on here, say a little about the book. Um, it's cool, I guess I like them more when they're together. I feel like in the first 10 chapters, <clears throat> they only saw or interacted saw each other or interacted with each other, slash interacted with each other, like, um, once or twice or thrice or something, and now that, like, Jane is kind of living with June, they're obviously interacting more, which is cool. I'm not sure if this was a quote from the first ten chapters, but they're just a quote that I've been thinking about, like, today. Um, one thing about filming this video, which is, I'd love to watch a, a four-hour documentary on her, and it's just about this random person that's, Jane sees on the street, and I feel like I relate to that. I'd love to know everything about everybody. I would say I'm observant, but obviously, like, you can't tell everything by, like, just seeing somebody for, like, yeah, I'm just, I, people have always interested me. Interested me. That's grammar. People have always interested me. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, that was a cool quote, um. And whenever, maybe one, and also I guess something that's keeping me to this book is reminding myself that it literally starts with Billy Eilish quote, I could lie, say, like it like that. I'm still not sure the relevance of that. Um, and I'm also using a tag that came with a pair of socks that I got for Christmas, actually, which are like, I don't think they're, they're from the Billy Eilish website or whatever, but um, the socks had the Billy Eilish, like, symbol this this thing and I'm using that as my bookmark so <laughs> that's that's cool as well um but yeah I'll be back in the next 10 chapters hopefully it'll be <laughs> a little less time between 19 and 20 were like really short chapters I, I feel like but um yeah okay I will see you later hey okay so I just thought I would Get, I would get away from my bookshelf. It's literally over there, but, um, and just, just for, like, a new surrounding. Um, I also got a haircut and new glasses. So, yeah, look a little bit, I look a little different, but, um, regardless, something is staying the same. <laughs> this video is still going on, and we're still talking about Yoke, my marriage, K. Choi. I have finished the next ten chapters. I just finished chapter 30, 31. Because, um, 31 was, was pretty short, so I just decided to read it. Um, yeah, it's going well. I definitely, this may be my most, my favorite, I guess, 10 chapters, I guess, so far. I feel like that a lot of things happened. Um, I don't really know what was, like, keeping me away from this book, really. Because, like, it's interesting. It's just, like, long, <laughs> I guess. So, yeah, maybe that is what's keeping me away, just because it was long. But... I have been reading it and enjoying it. Um, I am more than halfway through now. I am on page 246, and 200 is about the halfway point because there are 401 pages in the book. Um, and yeah, it's going well. I hope to actually finish it. I wanted to finish it yesterday, but I guess I'll try to finish it today because, um, yeah, I just want to, again, I'm looking at all these books that I want to read that I haven't read, and I'm like getting a little sad about it. So I need to keep powering through, read a lot of books. Um, not sure if I mentioned this. Well, I guess this is the first time I'm, that I'm um, talking to you about this book while I while this thing is happening. I'm in spring break right now, so a lot of time to read. So yeah, I've just been reading, reading, and some more reading. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. I finished it. I finished it after almost three months. I finished it on... Um, April 14th, I want to say. Maybe that's not true. Let me go check, actually. Okay, according to my notes app, I started at January 18th, and I finished April 13th. So, yeah, a little less than three months. I did not read it every day, and I, I'll never claim to... 
for that to be the case, but still, that is a very long time to read a book, but I'm finally done, and I'm here to talk about it, so that's great. Um, but the thing is, I have been videotaping, like, every ten chapters, so you've kind of, like, been on the journey along with me, although a lot of time has passed, it's part of the same video, so it's okay. Let me back up the camera real quick, actually. Um, but yeah, I finally got this done well on... A road, not a road trip, but like a, a long car ride, and I think that's all it took, um, having nothing else to do, for me to want to read it, I guess. It's a combination of just being in the same place for a long time and having not a lot to do, as well as um, being interested in the book and like reading it day after day. Uh, I just got into the habit of being more engrossed into the story, and I, I finally got it done. Um, I'm glad that I don't have to summarize this whole book because I probably could not. Um, but yeah, there are 41, or sorry, nope, 51 chapters. So I guess what I'm talking about now in this video is, um, actually, yeah, I didn't make, hold on. I feel like I didn't even make a video when I got to chapter 40. I feel like I just continued reading after chapter 40. I'm pretty sure that's that's what I did. So, like, I think I'm discussing chapter 40 until the end of the book. It may not even be 51 chapters. Let me see. There are, um... So embarrassing. There are four... That's chapter 48. Yeah, there are 48 chapters. Okay, so yeah, I, I think I just... I didn't make a video after getting to chapter 40. I just kept on reading, um... But this was good. It definitely is not like a very plot heavy book. It's more kind of like, um, not dream of consciousness, like slice of life or whatever. Although the main plot point is like one of the sisters having cancer. That's not the only thing that's happening in the, obviously, as you probably know by now, the narrator is the sister of the person having cancer, not the person that has that, that actually has cancer. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about this book too much. I've spent way too much time on it, I feel like, and I want to move on. But it was good. Like, I wouldn't even say that I don't like this book, although it took me a while to read. Um, It's definitely a thick book. I feel like a lot happens. I feel like a year has passed. <laughs> because a lot happened to this book, but also in terms of how long it's taken me to read it. Um, I hope going forward I'll be able to just commit to a book and just keep on reading it like every day or whatever until I finish it. It's definitely kind of like a character piece. I feel like these people are real people and I don't really say that a lot. I feel like when it comes to books, um, so yes, great job, Mary H.K. Choi in that regard. I think I definitely want to read more of her books because like the writing style, I have no problems with it. Um, it's also kind of funny, which I appreciate. And it, um, kind of hits that sibling dynamic, kind of, like, my, I'm, <laughs> I was about to say I'm friends with my sister, I have a sister, and, yeah, I'm friends with her, I guess, but, um, it was interesting seeing that portrayal, I don't really read that many books, I feel like, that have a pair of siblings, so, that was cool. Um, when the part of the book where she meets Patrick and going, um, going forward after that part, it was pretty cool, also, um, hearing hearing some conversation about like being the um, children of immigrants or being a minority in general um as a child of an immigrant myself i think it's just kind of interesting to hear an opinion about it because i i don't hear it that often and yeah just not even having to have like a formal conversation they're just talking about it and that's something that they share in common, um, both Patrick and Jane, I finally got her name right, Jane are, um, Korean, so they talk about their experience about that, so yeah, I'm sorry, I'm really distracted, I want to film two other separate videos after this video, and I'm just getting up a website for the next video I want to film, which I will not be telling you about, so please don't ask. Um, okay, but yeah, this book is good. I like it. I don't really have that much to say about it, I feel like. Do I recommend it? I guess. Be patient with it, I'd say. Because there are definitely chapters that don't make you want to read on, but like, I guess it's, it's, I guess it's worth it.
well, yeah, I don't no need to make this video so so long. You have you have seen me through the journey of of like a whole book, every ten chapters. So if you want to know what I think about the book by now, although my opinion of it has changed, I can say I like it more now than I liked it at the beginning. But I feel like that's. For all books, your opinion is bound to change. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I don't know how long this video is going to end up being. I hope it's not too long. And I will see you in the next video. Um, <laughs> Hopefully the next reading vlog will be shorter than this.